This week is Halloween, that means it's time to play some spooky games. What's good internet? My name is Attack Slug. This is Secret Neighbor on the PC, also available on the consoles. As always, full disclosure, this game provided by the publisher. Now then, I got a couple games provided by publishers this week that are spooky. This is an online asymmetrical horror game in the Hello Neighbor universe, and you can play as either a kid or a neighbor. There are different classes of kids, there are different classes of neighbors. So let's get right down to it, hop into a game, and see how it goes. I am playing keyboard and mouse with push to talk because obviously I care about that kind of thing. Let's get in here and see, am I going to be a kid? Or am I going to be the neighbor? The goal here, if you are a kid, is to get into the basement. If you are the neighbor, obviously, it is to catch all of the kids. Oh, snap! I'm the neighbor, disguised as a kid. And my goal here is to catch all the other kids. So let's see how that's going to go here in this game. Uh, I don't know just yet. They should be very sus suspicious of me. Yes, they should. Yes, they should. Uh, but I played this for a little bit. I did a video on this uh, last winter, last December, for the beta. They've made some changes here. It is definitely... Hey, buddy. Come here. Come here. I ain't gonna hurt you. E. E. Got him. Got him. I did it. I got at least one. I got at least one. All right. Back to being a kid, maybe? I'm still a neighbor. How do I turn back into T? Hey guys, how you doing? So yes, don't split up. Always hang out in pairs with pumpkins. What? Sure. They're trying to find keys and whatnot. Mm -hmm. E! 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 Gotcha! I did that! You ain't saving her! You ain't saving nothing! Boom! Wasn't me! Wasn't me! I didn't. They haven't even gotten one lock yet! I'm doing awesome here for the first time on this channel ever! Alright. Nobody knows that I'm the neighbor! Spooky! But yes, operate in pairs, but you can't trust anybody! DTA! Eh eh! Don't trust anybody. There is a machine here to go activate. Uh, I, I should probably go, go do that, like, right now. But I've been so, obviously, preoccupied with these kids. Uh, and we still have uh, locks on the door. It's still doing pretty good. So, don't mind me. Just doing my thing. Gaining a level. Don't mind me. I'm a neighbor. It's fine. Boom shakalaka. Alright, now then. Let's close... No one was the wiser there. All right, kids. Uh, where you at? Hopefully individually, where you at, though? And yes, there is voice chat here, uh, but sometimes people just don't use it, so fine by me in how I do videos. And yes, the crow marks the key, so they're going to head toward that key. And I should head toward that key with these kids. And yeah, the atmosphere here is just, you know, pretty creepy. Pretty creepy. Hey, buddy. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's what you get. Ooh, Boom, shakalaka. The neighbor strikes the... Hey, buddy. Ah, uh, you already know. You already know what it is. You already know what it is. Get back. Ah, oh, how did you... Jump, neighbor, jump. Grab. Neighbor, grab. Gotcha. You ain't going nowhere. I am the best neighbor in the world! And the neighbor wins! Flawless victory! <laughs> that was pretty good. Caught players. Victory. That was really, really good. I did that real, real well. So once you had a victory, once you've enjoyed your victory and got your coins here, you can go into the shop and spend those coins in the shop on different things. I can't afford anything with a whole 90 coins, but you can see how you can customize your characters. And real money, like the game's 20 bucks, right? If you want to spend money on skins, you can. I'm not going to recommend you do, 
but you can. It's there. But yes, plenty of this stuff once you win games and can earn coins to do that kind of thing. But, back out of there. Back out of there. And yeah, we'll do one more here and be a kid and look for some keys here, but you kind of get the idea in what this game is and what it does. So different classes can do different things. You can have more items. You can be agile. You can get a picture with a key on it. You can build some things with devices. You can be a leader to inspire your teammates and a scout who has a slingshot. And you have the clown here, the clown neighbor uh, who can disguise yourself, and the regular neighbor who can uh, have traps. So, you know, there are some options. I like the clown because the clown is hilarious. But yeah, as you can see here, smoke bomb, confusion, and camouflage. I didn't even use that. I had it. I didn't even have to use it. I was just that freaking good. Anyhow, I'm going to say with detective here and then go back to it and hit a quick game, baby. And people are playing this game, man. It has been just instant on PC. Just finding games like crazy. It's great. Whatever they did on their netcode, they nailed it a thousand percent. But yeah, three detectives make these games go way faster because everyone's trying to get those keys with the pictures to find those keys. Lee, oh, come on, man. I won't be a neighbor twice. I'm dropping. I'm dropping. Okay. Now a kid. You can see here, Q says that's where the key is in a trio of drawers, hopefully, so... It is search for a trio of drawers. And there are keys and there are key cards to open these different doors to gain more access to other parts of this house. The hoose and the noozle. But looking for those three drawers with my key, I'm not the only one. But again, it's D-T-A. Don't trust anybody. But yeah, look for these drawers to find. Everyone's going real fast here. They're going for good at this game. And I am just like, nope, I'm kind of slow. It is what it is, man. I had one good game. I ain't gonna argue with that one good game. Like, that went really well. And... Hey, buddy. But you can't trust anybody. You don't know who the neighbor is. Now it's in a coffin. So where are those... Uh-oh. Where are those coffins? I think they were downstairs on the first floor, but I might need something else to get to them, if I recall correctly. And I probably don't recall correctly. So, again, being alone is bad. Being among people here is good, because who can betray me if we all see what's going on? We can defeat the neighbor that way. But there should be coffins, I want to say in the back of the house, maybe over here. Bro, bro, this way. Yes, all right. Coffins, no, that's just a flashlight. That's just some milk. That was not the right coffin. There's spider ups on the walls for that coffin, so... Alright. And yeah, it's kind of a big house, but it's the same map every time, so I think this game could use some more maps, but it's based on Hello Neighbor, and that's the whole game with Hello Neighbor, is the house, right? So, having more, more maps is kind of, like, perhaps defeats the purpose, but hey, you could do it. Like, I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm saying perhaps you should do it for an online multiplayer asymmetrical horror game. You could use more more maps. Like, obviously, games like Dead by Daylight and Friday the 13th have more than one map. So, I'm just saying, different house layout, perhaps? I'm not sure if this house layout changes or if it's the same layout every time. Like, that, I haven't played enough to know if it's just the same house. I've seen some complaints that it's just the same house. So, that's just kind of my uh, call on that. But... Like, it works at what it does. I think it works real well at what it does. It's got some good atmosphere, and just the nature of having your teammates possibly be the enemy is a cool thing. And I can dig that. Uh, and yeah, it's out now on Steam. And on Xbox One and maybe PS4? I forget. I know for sure PC and Xbox One. And if you have a PC, that's the way to do it. Uh, I tried pl playing with a controller... It's not the best. You gotta have some very precise uh, handling of the... Uh, yeah, what? Alright, a different coffin with the pumpkins on the walls. I don't know, man. I don't know. That's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, just good atmosphere, good tone here. I enjoy that. But yeah, you kind of need more... Someone got a key. Alright, so one of those two is not the neighbor. 
Um, which is good. Hey, buddy. But where... Yeah, it's still the same. Ah, snap! Snap! No! No! I'm done. And now you can watch what's happening with your teammates or with the neighbor. So we can see what's cracking here. One of you two. One of you two is the neighbor. Like that. Oh. We got you. You're done, -zo. You're done, -zo. And I've seen both situations. I've seen neighbors win. I've seen kids win. So there is an there is an amount of balance here in the game, as I've seen things go both ways. It's not super one-sided in either way, and that's the disguise stuff. That stuff is really cool, like pumpkin with a mustache. That's really good design, and I think it's neat. But yeah, you have your kind of your, your room here as the neighbor. You can kind of get into this secret areas as the neighbor, and this music seems stuck. But you know, there it is. There it is. Get him. Get that key. In. Wait, he didn't see that? He didn't see that. Or maybe he did. I don't know. Yeah, you're done. Again, you should operate in pairs, if at all possible. But again, you can't trust anybody in this game. So it could go either way in Secret Neighbor here. Uh, but there you go. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna be like, yep, I'm done. I am done, so I'm not gonna watch that. Yep. Peace out. Have a good game. GG. I'm a tax slug, secret neighbor, out now, 20 bucks, more videos on this channel, more spooky games coming this week before Halloween, tune in for those, see you next time, and I'm out!